Hey, you guys want to install a UV light in your AC unit? Stay with me in this video, I'll show you. It's not as hard as you think, let's get it done. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. All my long time subscribers, welcome back. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the installation of a UV light for your AC unit. Now these things are pretty handy. They help eliminate bacteria, they kill mold, it will help eliminate a bunch of different things and if you have allergies these are this is something that will probably be beneficial to you um, a lot of people don't know this but these things are very easy to install they're not complicated I'm gonna go over with you how they work how to wire them and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it the first thing we want to do is understand how this thing works the UV light actually is mounted in this magnetic case right here I'm not going to show you the bulb because I don't want to handle the bulb because you may damage it. I'll show you once I'm putting it together what it looks like. But basically you have a bulb attached to this and you have a, um, an adapter that is connected to it. And the adapter is powered by your AC unit. Now listen, this adapter is 24 volts and that's great because it's low voltage. You don't have to worry about high voltage running to your bulbs. But because it's low voltage, and your unit is high voltage, you're gonna need another piece to make this thing work. In comes a transformer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys why you need a transformer, how to wire it up, and what it does. So like I said before, this thing takes 24 volts and the way it works is pretty simple. All you need to do is connect 24 volts to these two wires here, run this wire down to your bulb put your bulb behind your AC coils and that's it but in order to get 24 volts here like I said we're going to need a transformer all right so once you pick up your UV light whichever one you want um, this one here like I said is from BioShield I got it on Amazon I'll leave a link you guys can find it but once you have your UV light and you're you're going to need a transformer this one is by Packard and what it is it's a multi use transformer what that means is it takes different varying voltages and steps it down to 24 volts on this line here so if you notice on here we you can see the wires are all labeled um, you have white black red and orange and these uh, wires serve different purposes in my case my unit is a 240 volt uh, AC unit so the power coming in is 240 so I got to be able to convert 240 down to 24 and this is where the transformer comes in on here it's all labeled the white is going to be my common and the orange is going to be 240 volts so these are the power this is what I'm going to connect to the power and the other two I'm going to have to cut and cap it off so that it doesn't short inside the unit so your situation may be different than mine you may be working on 208 if you're working on 208 then you are going to use the red and the white and if you're working on 120 you're going to use the black and the white that's all you really need to know so let's go ahead and put these things in all right so like i said the wires that we're not using we can go ahead and cut them off and then we can put a wire cap on them just so that we don't get any shorts while we're putting this thing inside the unit once we have them wire nutted you can go ahead and tape them off all right once you have these two separated and they're all wire nutted and taped off what I like to do is I'll just tie them in a knot just to keep them out of the way and make sure that I don't accidentally connect anything to them all right once we have that done we're ready to go we can jump into the unit all right now that we have our transformer ready we're pretty much ready to start the process so what we're going to do next is Obviously, since we're dealing with power, you want to go ahead and kill the power to your unit, turn it off, turn off your breaker, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove all the panels on the front of this unit so we can have access to it in order to run our wires. Once we have all our panels removed and we have access to the power panel at the top of the unit, that is where we're going to start installing our transformer and the base uh, adapter for the UV light. Yep. Once you're inside the AC unit, you can see here, this is where your power is coming in. And down here is where you're going to tap into. You can see here, I have the white wire connected to this terminal and the orange wire connected to this terminal. 
Um, I had to put uh, spade connectors on the end because the ends here needed required spade connectors. But you may have uh, screw lugs like the ones up here. If you do, you just loosen the screw lugs, slide the wires underneath the lugs and tighten them down. It doesn't matter whether the white is on the right or the left, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have uh, one on one side and one on the other side. Again, this setup is for 240 volts. Yours may be 120. If it is, just use the correct color coded wire. And that's it. As you can see, the transformer I have was placed here. Um, you can go ahead and use a screw and secure it down if you need to, just to hold it in place. Once you have the transformer secured, now the only leads you have remaining coming out are the 24 volt leads. And again, like we said, this is our power adapter for the light. And the only thing that you need to do here is connect the wire from your transformer to the wire from the AC adapter. Again, you just want to find a location inside your panel up here where you can secure this and you know have it out the way. And once you have your terminals here, all you need to do is you're going to connect them with wire nuts. So all you need to do is take the wires from your adapter and connect it to one of the 24 volt wires. Again, use a wire nut, get it nice and secure. Just repeat the process on the other wire. Make sure to give your wires a nice tug to make sure that they're connected. Do this for both of them. Once they're connected, you're pretty much done wiring up the UV light. Once you have all your wires connected, your, AC, your adapter for your light is connected, you can go ahead and tuck the wires out the way and position your adapter in a place where you can access the wires. Now all you need to do is run the power that's going from your AC adapter all the way down to UV light and we're gonna try and fish it through one of the holes here and run it all the way down to behind your coil. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and show you guys exactly the route that I'm taking and how I'm gonna wire this up to my actual light. All right, now you can see here we have the wire that's coming down from our AC adapter to go to our bulb. The only thing we need to do now is we need to drill a hole to get our wire from here into our coil back here. So what I'm gonna use is one of these step bits. You don't have to use this if you have a drill bit big enough. You just need it big enough to get the head of this thing through. So if you have one of those, great, go ahead, use it. So what you wanna do next is drill a hole. I'm gonna put mine right around here just so it's out of the way from the coil. All right, once you have your hole drilled, it's enough to get this through here. That's all you really need. The next thing we're gonna work on is actually connecting the so bulb. The bulb is attached to this uh, adapter plate here, which is magnetic, it has a magnetic ring on here, which goes on the inside of your coil here. Just imagine on the face that's on the back, this is gonna stick to it like that, okay? So right where this hole, hole is on the other side is where I'm going to mount this plate. And the only thing that holds the bulb in place are these two nuts here that allow the bulb to sit like this and it's only held in place by these two nuts. You tighten the nuts down like this and it holds the bulb in place and that's pretty much it. If you look on the back here we have the connectors for the power adapter and this just plugs in like this. So what you're going to see me doing next is we're going to try and access inside this coil from underneath. That's going to be your best bet. You can always take this panel off, but it's too much work to take the screws off to remove this. It's easier to access from underneath the AC unit. You can just reach up inside there, hold it, and it will magnetize to the back wall of your coil. All right, I'm going to reach in, feed the wire through, plug this in, and then attach it to the back plate. All right. So once you're inside and you have the cable for your light bulb, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect it 
all it does, the pin should line up and it pushes right in. Make sure it's nice and snug. Once you have it plugged in, all you need to do, slide it up into your coil. And that's it. Now you have your light installed. You can see the bulb reaches almost all the way across the coil and that's all you want. And this is the wire going back through the hole that you drilled. And with that done, the installation is complete. We just need to turn the power back on and test it and make sure it's got power. Now that the wires are completely run and your UV light is installed, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and button up all the stuff we have over here. Um, you're going to want to put back on the plate for your power and neaten all the wires, screw down your 24 volt transformer and your adapter and make sure that they're all secure inside. And then we're going to go ahead and put on the, pa the panels for the front of the AC unit. And once that's all, once that's complete, we're going to finish up and I'll tell you exactly what the last steps are. All right, guys, welcome back. That wasn't too bad. So now look, we have our AC unit all put back together. Uh, the UV light is installed, wired up to the transformer, wired up to the AC adapter. And now everything should be good to go. The only thing left to do right now is turn the breaker back on. And as you can see, the UV light lights up very well and it's working. All right, now that is the installation of a UV light. Now you guys can do this, it's pretty easy. They also included as well in the package um, two sets of uh, like a little sight glass. If you guys want to put this in, you can put it in. All you need to do is drill a small hole in your panel. Make sure you do this before you put the panel on because you don't want to drill into your coil. But drill a small hole, I think it's a quarter inch, and then you stick one of these things in. That way you'll be able to see the blue light through um, your sight glass. That way you'll know when your bulb is out. I don't really need to do it. I'm not doing it in this case because I can see, I change my filter pretty often. so. Um, it's in the return so when I take out my filter I'll be able to see if the light is on or not so again you can use it you don't have to put it in if you don't want to um, but a lot of people like being able to just walk up to their unit and see if the uh, UV light is working so if you want to have nice clean pure air in your house get one of these UV lights install one of them it's not too bad it might take you an hour if you got a friend give him some bears he'll be able to help you out other than that that's pretty much it Thank you guys again for watching and if you found the content helpful and you liked it and you enjoyed it, don't forget, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and follow me for more DIY tips and tricks and other DIY content that I'm doing all around the house. Alright, again, thanks for watching guys and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.